Look, I think one of the most important questions we've asked so far in talking with them this morning is, you know, what did we know and when did we know it? And, you know, I think uh, what they've disclosed and discussed in the press release is, you know, the full extent of what they know. The second question becomes, you know, where do we go from here? And I think they're still measuring, you know, what the hard costs will be. The last point I would make that's important is the soft cost. Marriott's acquisition of Starwood was largely to capture the SPG uh, membership base right. who are, you know, younger, more affluent, more global. And, you know, this is certainly not helpful, uh, but, you know, in time, whether it's hurtful uh, remains to be seen. Well, so, okay, so there's two pieces to this. One is, does this negative headline effectively say to, to travelers who historically have, have loved using their, you know, Starwood points and their Starwood Amex and all of that, do they say to themselves, you know, next time I'm taking a trip, I'm going to uh, a different hotel chain? Let's, let's start there. Well, it, it'd be hard to argue that that won't cross, uh, you know, that won't enter into the thought process. But, you know, suffice it to say, Marriott has bent over backwards to, you know, connect with right. the, that membership base so far. And, you know, they probably will continue to do so and even ramp up those efforts. Marriott's been defined by superb execution right. over the years. And so, so, you know, this is unusual. So as, as an analyst covering this stock, how do you math out uh, what what this means to the company. The stock, as I said, off about 4% this morning. Does that make sense to you? Uh, it, it Well, uh, I, I do think that there should be, you know, ultimately some modest impact to numbers. I think we've had other cases of large-scale mergers where this sort of thing has happened before that I'm sure you're all familiar with. And, you know, in the end, the financial impact was was not very large. My sense is stocks may overreact in the moment and then work their way back.